Remember that commercial that was like, this is your brain on drugs? <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I've seen so much glass and crossed so many mountains. Dude, I can't even find the door to this antique mall. I've just been walking around in circles. Uh, I'm at another stop, whole new town. I'm in Fayetteville, West Virginia, and I'm at the New River Antique Mall. Oh my gosh, wait, dude, this is too much for me. Looks like Blanco, I'm assuming. Very cool, 45. Viking, 43. Lots of Fiesta, Fiesta. Oh my gosh, no, this is like the area I was really excited to get in. This is insane. Look at the vases. 180. 180. 100, 100. That one's 300. Look at the e -pern. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's spendy. But it's epic. Wow. That one's 400. This is so much stimulation, I'm telling you. Really pretty Amberina. One of my favorite color combos. All kinds of little jewelry and mirrors. This is definitely spendy over here, though. Oh my gosh, the sun critters and the moss. Well, Westmoreland birds, excuse me, I thought they were moss. Ooh, look at this green section. Well, that's freaking pretty. $100. Vintage Bruno hand blown. Wow. And, uh, yeah, this is. This is a lot. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Wonder if the prices stay in that area. That's just one vendor. Dude, are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh, I've never even seen these. They're $25 each. I think they're Christ. Yup, Christ Elf Shelf Sitters, $25 each. Forget the glass. I'll take these. Those are pristine condition too. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll get lucky with some of the kitsch. There's those big bear salt and pepper shakers. Those are at 19. 59 on the Roseville. That's a beautiful picture. Oh my gosh, look at this happy little shelf. 25, 25. These are fantastic. 15. Oh my gosh. Love these. Look at the chick. That's, I mean, the lamb. Oh my gosh. The lamb's 15. The blue mold. That's so cute. Oh, all the old toys. Yeah, that, um, those Christ elves, those are a showstopper. Really hard to find. Oh my gosh. How did I not even see this lamp? I don't need this. I don't need this. I definitely don't need it. It's $500. <laughs> Look at this hobbyist worm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute. $15. He's so great. I kind of feel like I don't care that it's a hobbyist piece. Oh, <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Squirrel, but actually lamb. Little red bow tie creature. Let's see, $4. A little paint moss on the bow, but a more desirable piece and harder to find. I'll take that. A little stuffed skunk. He's cute. How much is he? 15. Eh, can leave that. The plush have really taken a dive, like I said, but look at the Dream Pets Hippo. How much on that one? All right, keep moving here. Ooh, look at this little blue jack in the pulpit. That's really seven dollars. Well, I'll be taking that. That's really pretty. What a steal! Oh my gosh, this poodle. I'm only looking at the price tag because I have to. Thirty dollars, Christ Poodle Bank. I'm taking that. I've never seen that before. I don't know if I'm going to be able to part with that. 
That is spectacular. I've never seen Christ at these prices before. It's usually super expensive. This is unbelievable. That's a beautiful lampshade. I love the pink slag glass. Oh, this is awesome. And so it continues. All right, looks like we got the repop sign and cars. We can do without that. Lots of USA pottery. Some, uh, I'm trying to eavesdrop right now. I left my elves up there. I'm like, please don't take my elves. <laughs> Entering another little nook back here. Oh, this, uh, chicken thing is pretty epic. It's missing one of the, it's missing the oil in the set and it's got some paint moss. Never seen that before though. Oh my gosh, look at this iced tea. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's only $150. What is this planter? <gasps> Stop. I've never seen this one. $7? Dude, what? She's fantastic. I don't, it looks just like it's got like some glue residue or something. It's not even repaired. Even if it was for seven bucks, I'd take it, honestly. That's so cute. I am pretty pumped about that. What's this lady face thing? Three dollars Japan. She's really interesting. I kind of feel like for three bucks. Vintage souvenir of Oak Hill, West Virginia. For three bucks, we'll take her. She's really different. What else do they have hidden back here? Oh, whoa. Look at this kitschy little mecca. Oh, I love these. <laughs> the Billykin dolls. $70, though. How much on the little lamb planter? $5. You're kidding. Does that really say $5? What's wrong with it? I'll take that. And then look at the telephone people. That's cute. The little teenage figurines, plastic. $5 for the pair. I'll take those. I left a pair um, earlier in my trip, but these are half the price. So there you go. And they're a different style than the one I had before. Kitty cucumber. <laughs> Snow White. Wow, that's really old. Oh, just when I thought I'd seen it all. Another room. Chili back here. And it's... Looking like it's more contemporary, too. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this West Virginia glass. A canoe. Oh, my gosh. It's like a pinkish cranberry color. That's so cool. I had one of these once. Dude, the glass here is really expensive. Wait, 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 wait. Let me put this down. Let me not get too excited. Look over here. Ooh. And be cautious of that. Look at these guys. $10 for this set of three. Stop. Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense. Salt and pepper shakers. And you get the free little green fuzzy ceramic cat. Very nice. I'll take that. Now, what's going on? I need to be very careful. What's going on with this? This fish. It says elephant. Oh, duh, it's an elephant. That's kind of a strange shape. I'm not crazy about that, even though the price is good. All right, now look at the geese. Those are really different. Imperial, $25. Really cool. I love the uh, swirl in that. Over here. These purple slag glass. Is it each? Oh yeah, they're $20 each. Yeah, I can't do that. And then up here, I love this Blanco decanter, but it's $180. This is really pretty. Leslie Scott. Swang Song. Really nice glass designs. Ooh, I like, I like these. Really pretty. Look, that one looks like it's got a seahorse in it. Oh my gosh, so many figurines. They're all um, ages and makes too. I'm gonna slowly look around here. And of course I'm like looking at this cranberry 
$20, yeah. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting color. And over here, a lot more contemporary than anything, but they're scattered in. See, like that little wiener dog is older. That's a nice one, Japan. No, Czechoslovakia, interesting. Not as well done as I'd like, though. A lot of sl slag here. I'm sure these are spendy. The Imperial. Actually, seem to be priceless. But I'm just going to go ahead and say it's safe to assume since the glass has been kind of where it needs to be, as I'd like to say. Dude, what is happening here? Look at the cats. That one in the back is amazing. I wonder what the prices are like on these. I'm definitely going to have to check that one out with the long gold tail. I can't really see it. There we go. Oh, literally right in front of me. Small cat pins, five. Large cat pins, ten. Well... <laughs> We gotta take this large guy. He's pretty great. One of the small, no, that one's a little wonky. Yeah, I'll just take this guy. He's really calling me. And just before I was about to check out, this caught my eye and it's exactly what I thought it was. This Empoli, oh, it's got the lid. It's so pretty, $28. I can't leave that, it's too nice a little bit more than I'd like to pay, but I think I'll do all right on it. Yeah, that Impoli lidded jar, uh, it felt lightweight, just like Impoli, and I couldn't resist the beautiful blue nipple top. <laughs> um, I parked in the worst spot located. Uh, I spent $170 in there, and I think I'm gonna hit one more spot. Uh, I'm gonna peep it out before I film, though. I'm not sure how large it is, um, and then I'm gonna get back on the road, because I really miss Jeff. <laughs> I haven't really figured out how to navigate this town yet. Uh, I think I'm here. Don't really see it. I see a bank. I see a truck parked on the side of the road. This is not user friendly. Well, there you go. I came all the way here and uh, it's closed even though it advertises it's open. That sucks. All right, well, I think it's official. Uh, I think we can go ahead and cross this off my list. Uh, I have one more stop planned on my way home, and I will see you guys when I get there.